Let's talk about playstyles. If I fight someone who is canning, for example, someone who's a maniac and who wakes up often, what I don't want to do is knock them down. <laughs> because if I have an ender that knocks them down, for example, then it's hard to meaty. Or like, let, let me give you another option that's even better. Like I once fought a cabal that was insane. The dude would wake up, up three, or he would jump, right? Because when he do he did up three wake ups, then I would I'd be I'd be scared. I didn't want to meet him because he would just wake up in my face, so I'd stand back. And then now when he conditioned me to stand back, he would just wake up, jump, and then he was in the air. That's actually a pretty smart, crazy type of strategy. And the counter is to never put him down, which is why when you have restand type characters, even him, if you do back forward four, you don't amp it. Although that's not the optimal way to play him. Or Jade. Jade, Jade is amazing for that because you get a restand with the stick, right? Back forward two, and they keep them close, plus eight. So that's when you have to bring out these types of characters that contain the enemy when the enemy is insane. Because an insane enemy is usually not going to uh, block. <laughs> So you need a lot of high hit advantage to gel them into your next hit. Like Robocop could do it with the Cheval Trap. Who else? Like Sindel with back forward two instead of back forward one as an ender. Anyone else? You could do it with her, of course, instead of just going for a hard knockdown. After you do the uh, Bionic Balance and Enhanced Air Blast, you just finish with forward one two or something like that. I don't know, but there are options to tame the Maniacs. And usually those options is with restands. That's it, guys. Peace.